Today we're talking about how to create an inviting entryway, so let's get started. Hi everyone, Liz here. Welcome to Balance and Rhythm. Today we're starting a series on designing specific areas of the home, starting with your home's gateway, the entry hall or foyer. It's the area that greets your guests and perhaps sees you off in the morning and welcomes you home after a long day. This is the area of your home where you want to create a sense of arrival. Creating a sense of arrival is the feeling that you've arrived in a special place and this space sets the tone for what lies beyond. There are many types of entry spaces and not every solution is going to work for everyone. So think about the space that you have in terms of the planes of floors, walls, and ceilings and do what works best for your space. If the space is at least semi-enclosed, this is a great space for special flooring. You could do something more durable like a paver style or a beautiful herringbone pattern in the material of your choice. I'm a big fan of porcelain tile for its strength, durability, and impermeability to water. If you go with this option, be sure to get one with a DCOF or dynamic coefficient of friction rating of 0.42 or greater for slip resistance. Statement rugs are also a great choice, especially for more open spaces because they help to delineate and anchor the area while providing a cozy look. Rugs will also add slip resistance with a grippy rug pad and protect the floor from moisture or anything that might be tracked in from outside. This is where you can really have a lot of fun, depending on how much wall and floor space you have to work with and the look you want. This area can be as simple as a narrow console table with a mirror or a piece of artwork above it and a beautiful eye-catching vignette. And it's also a great place to incorporate plants. A deeper console table could house a couple of poofs or stools underneath, some beautiful woven baskets for a touch of warmth and texture, or you could incorporate a more enclosed piece that could include shoe storage. You could also do a bench in lieu of a table. This stair and bench set each other off beautifully. If you're really tight on space, a peg rail or wall hooks can hold coats or provide a place to hang decor depending on the time of year. And corners can be filled with plants. That's much better than trying to force items that just don't fit. Any space can incorporate a beautiful light fixture of some sort, something that provides soft light and a little sparkle. A size appropriate pendant or chandelier makes a beautiful statement if the ceiling is tall enough. The general guideline for hanging fixtures is to have a minimum of 7 feet or 214 centimeters between the floor and the bottom of any fixture that will be walked under. For an entryway or foyer, this can be adjusted up depending on whether the space has taller or two-story ceilings. For an 8-foot or 244-centimeter ceiling, this means that the fixture will not have much of a drop. For taller one-story entries with 9 to 12-foot or 275 to 366-centimeter ceilings, the guideline is to hang the fixture at 7 feet 6 inches or 229 centimeters minimum from the floor to the bottom of the fixture. It's also important to note the height of any adjacent doors and plan for the fixture to be 12 to 16 inches or 30 to 40 centimeters above the frame of the door if it will interfere with the operation of the door. For two-story spaces, the general guideline is to hang the fixture so that the bottom is at the level of the second story. However, if you have a transom window above the door, you may want to place the fixture so that it's centered on the window. As you can see, there are many variables. And for any height ceiling, remember that sconces, floor lamps, and table lamps can also provide a warm, welcoming glow. If you happen to enter your home another way, like through a mudroom or laundry room, you can use some of the same strategies. Just because these spaces are more utilitarian doesn't mean you don't deserve to feel warm and welcomed. These areas can also have the added benefit of providing storage for shoes, coats, and bags, keeping them easily accessible but out of sight of the main areas of the home. 
For more design ideas, check out these videos. And if you like this one, please consider subscribing to be the first to know about new videos. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.